Hello everybody, welcome back to your Football Manager channel. I'm FM Pepe and we're doing the player review with Lionel Messi from Barcelona today. I've never seen a player with so many 20s on the board. Um, it is incredible. Um, hell of an inside forward on the right hand side. I personally would be looking to play him in the number 10 role. But yeah, he's great on the right hand side. Um, let's have a little look at him now. Now his physicals, his strength and work rate are not good. Um, they're 7 for the work rate, 9 for the strength. The thing that disappoints me is positioning. Five. Um, I would say one thing about Lionel Messi is he's always in the right place at the right time to pick up the ball. Uh, I think positioning here is just stupid. I don't know what's going on with FM20 giving him a five. Um, but it should be about more than defensive situations. It talks about the attribute reflecting the ability of a player to read defensive situation and position himself accordingly. Um, the thing is, positioning is about more than defensive duty. And I think there should be something on here that reflects that. Um, other than off the ball, which he's very good at. Um, I, I just don't get the positioning thing. It doesn't take into account the attacking play. So, anyway, uh, back to Lionel Messi. Off the ball, 16. <laughs> so, to me, he does have good positioning. Um, penalty taking, long shots, both 17. Other than that, um, his dribbling, finishing, passing and technique are all 20. That's incredible. Um <laughs> Uh, his first touch and free kick taken at 19. So you definitely want him uh, on your free kicks. Definitely 100%. His long shots are 17. Because um, his crossing is 15. Um, I wouldn't have him on the right. I'd have him in the middle. Um, and I'd have maybe Usman Dembele out on the right hand side. If you're doing a Barcelona save. And I'll just have him right through the middle. Scaring the hell out of teams. Now his mentals... You've got Anticipation 19, Composure 18, but then you've got Vision, Flair, Determination and Decisions, all 20. Uh, perfect number 10. He's a legendary attacking midfielder as well, so you don't want him as a, a right winger. Acceleration 18, Agility and Balance 19. Um, obviously, Jumping Reach and Heading, he's only 5 foot 7. Um, you know, he's, he's not going to be renowned for that. But natural fitness, 14, pace 15, stamina 13. I would still try to work on his strength and his work rate um, in the um, training development because he's 31 now. You want to get as many years out of him as possible. He's played 136 times for Argentina, scored 68 goals. He's got 18 under 20 caps where he scored 14 under 20 goals. He's on £1.2 million pound a week. Oh, I saw Eden Hazard is on £525 grand a week. Lionel Messi is on double that and then some. Um, it's incredible. That That's literally £60 million quid a year. £60 million pound a year to play football. Oh, dear me. He scored... Um, 430 goals in 484 games and uh, he's gone through Barcelona C, Barcelona B team as well before he came into the senior team. So he's come through the ranks at Barcelona, he's definitely homegrown and I think he's an incredible player. Now what I always try to do is I always try to see um, if... We can perhaps get, oh god, get the player out. And I don't think you're going to be able to get Lionel Messi out. <laughs> so, straight away, 74 million just rejected for a 31-year-old. Um, but he is a special, special player. Probably one of my favourite ever players. And uh, he's an absolute legend. So, yeah, if you want Lionel Messi at your team, I think you're going to have to wait a year or two. 
um, you know, until he's on the slide. But if you're playing with a Barcelona save, try him in that number 10 role as the, uh, I'd go advanced playmaker and support, you know, or maybe a um, Enganche. You know, I think Enganche would suit him great, to be honest with you. Um, because he'd, he'd really get on the ball quite a lot. Or Shadow Striker. Shadow Striker would probably be even better if you look at these attributes little up here. So, yeah, try and get him as a Shadow Striker attacking in that number 10 role. If you do that, you're probably going to get the very best out of him. Anyway, I hope that helps. If it does, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you if you have already. And I'll see you soon too.